So I was working on a boat at a shop that I worked many years ago. It was a combination welding and machine shop. You've heard me mention Fairbanks machine and steel lots of times. And I was taking advantage of the working on your own projects at the shop. In fact, yes, there's, this will be a, a longer video. This won't be a short. Um, so we just mentioned for a short about uh, Bert's stuff over here and the fact that when you go to work at these shops, it's unwritten rule. You get to work on your own stuff. It's not quite so much of a definite rule anymore. Uh, years ago, I decided I wanted to take a six foot 16 foot flat bottom river boat and put an RX uh, 3, no not 3, RX 4, it was 13B rotary and I figured if the 145 horse wasn't enough for it with the jet I would make it up with a turbo to a 460 horse. I uh, never did finish the boat, that's a whole nother story, a friend of mine at the time, he had troubles with drugs, he sold the boat for scrap actually when I was out of town, he cut it out and sold it for scrap. Um, previous to that, at Fairbanks Machine and Steel, I'm working on this boat. I've got the back of the bottom cut out of it, and I'm putting in a new heavier skid plate so that I can put the jet unit on it. 12-inch Berkeley is what I was putting on it. And uh, anyway, I was prone to doing the sleeping an hour or two and going back to work. I didn't hardly sleep in those days. And I had fallen asleep after working all night on my boat, after working a 10-hour day at the shop. And I fell asleep. I figured I'd get a quick cat nap. And I woke up in time to go to work. And I showed up at work. I never left the premises. And I just slept in my pickup. I showed up at work. And I got a thorough bawling out from the boss because I had left my boat with the spare debris and stuff laying on the floor in the shop. And that was one of those things where, okay, I was overdoing my stay and I apologized, quickly cleaned stuff up before I cl clocked in. And that was part of the reason that, uh, you know, people did take advantage of it. Now, when I was to the end of working at that shop, I had, uh, they hired a replacement for me without telling me that they had hired a replacement. And I knew this from going down to job services because we were falling out of love with each other, me and the people I was working for. And they actually had my job posted there uh, as needing to find somebody to fill my job at the shop. And so that plus the fact that a friend wanted to go gold mining, it was time for me to go back and dig in the dirt again. Well, when I wanted to go back and dig in the dirt though, it made sense. I was running the sh machine shop, uh, it was a machine and welding shop, I ran just the machine shop side, but I was running the shop and I was supposed to be training the new guy that was kind of a office person, taking all of the fun points of my job, getting paid half again what I was getting paid, and I did the physical work um, along with the other guys in the shop. So I kind of knew it was time for me to leave, I was getting ready for going mining, but my last month there, I used the shop to build the sprocket for the trommel, the support axles, all kinds of stuff uh, for my trommel. And during that time, I was showing up to do my job for about one to two hours a day while I would put in 16 hours at night working on the trommel and then sleep about four hours. So we built our mining equipment uh, in a yard outside of town at the same time that I was running the machine shop and that was uh, how I built my first personally owned trommel was uh, with the help of the company that was getting ready to fire me and then when it was time to quit I said well obviously since I haven't been showing up much I'm gonna end up quitting and I'm going gold mining and I said I will work the day out if you want, or I can pick up my tools right now, but I'm going to go gold mining and I'm out of here. And they said, we'd like it if you worked the day out. So I said, okay. And I did what I could to help them before I left that last day. And uh, then I went gold mining. 